All right, I'm going to do a quick review of the Turnigy Graphene 500 milliamp hour 3 cell 65C LiPo. And when I first got it, um, I was pretty impressed with the way it looked. It's all black, and I like things that are all black, except for like the wrapping is black and then it's red inside the that plastic piece that wraps around is red and then i heard that there was like a g10 plates on the top and bottom and that's why it, what makes them a little bit heavier but to me this isn't heavy this this weighs 54 grams i believe let me double check that i weighed it earlier but um 52 53 okay so it's a little bit lighter because i put a xt30 on there it comes with the xt60 and it, it comes with actually a new xt60 that i've never seen before and it's called xt60u it's made by a mass it says xt60u and it looks and feels completely different than a regular XT60. It's a little bit shorter. Um, these things are a little bit shorter. And it's made out of something different than the regular XT60. You can tell just by the way it looks. It doesn't have that grainy kind of look. It's smooth. And it feels lighter. But I don't know if it is, so let me check that. three and five yep so it's a couple grams lighter well it could be a little bit due to the solder there's only a little bit more though though so yeah it is a little bit lighter so anyway it comes with that i put xt30 on because i fly it with my 130s that have an xt30 on them um so it's it's around 54 grams um, it is 28 millimeters wide, 22 millimeters tall, and around 57 millimeters long. I've never used a graphene, but supposedly they give you power for longer due to the graphene inside. I don't know. I don't know much about that stuff, but um, I've only flown this one time, and I was pretty impressed with it. So, um, one other thing I really like about this too is the real short balance lead. I love that. I hate it when there's a super long balance lead and you got to figure out what to do with it, you know? Um, but apparently this is the the short lead version. I guess there's a another version of the same battery that has longer leads. So I got the short lead one. Um, okay, so let's take it outside and do a little flight, do a punch out and see what kind of power it gives. And this of course is on my 130 with the DYS 1306 4000 kV motors. And um, right now I have on the DYS 3030 triprops. Clean up my mess a little bit. And let's go outside. Just a second, baby. Okay. Just a second, baby. I'm just flying real quick. And I didn't bring my glasses, so I'm going to have to face the other way. Hold on. 
I'm hovering at less than 50. And I'll do a punch out real quick. Stay right there, Alyssa. Pretty nice power. Pretty nice power. So I would have to say that uh, I like this battery. Um, my first flight with it, I was doing a full throttle almost the whole flight and the battery barely even got warm. I mean, it's not even warm right now at all. So I'd have to say it's a pretty good battery. It looks cool. Does what it's supposed to. And looks cool. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching.